the Ford Mustang. This isn't a car you're going to buy on the strength of its interior or its infotainment system, but it's actually a decent car to live with every day. Hop inside and you're treated to a very American interior, with huge rev and speedo dials and chunky toggle switches to turn traction control off. In terms of material quality and elegance, it's not a patch on more sophisticated European rivals like the BMW 2 Series or Audi TT, but it oozes character. Electrically adjustable leather seats are standard fit, and you can brighten things up with cream or brown leather, depending on the exterior colour you choose. You also get digital radio, cruise control, a rear view camera, and air conditioning as standard. If you want satellite navigation, it's an optional extra, and it comes with an 8 inch touchscreen, which is just about okay to use. Although you do get a nice Mustang logo when you switch it on, though the graphics are a little bit old fashioned. The system's not that quick to respond to touches either, and although you can pinch to zoom, it's so laggy you're better off just using the on screen buttons. On the plus side, it does make avoiding traffic easy once you've plotted a route. Also, doing simple things like inputting postcodes just takes far too long. The final nail in the touchscreen's coffin is that you have to use it to change the climate control, taking you away from the sat-nav screen unless you want to use the four-way split view which hides the map. As part of the sat-nav upgrade, you also get an improved sound system which is absolutely awesome. It's very bassy and can easily drown out the V8 engine, even at full throttle. If you want this pack though, it's £800, so not cheap on an already expensive Ford. So then overall, the Mustang's interior and infotainment systems aren't on a par with its European rivals. But who buys a Mustang for this sort of thing, eh? Get the V8 and you'll soon forget about the shonky touchscreen. If you click over there, you can watch our 360 degree and practicality video for the Ford Mustang, plus its in-depth video review. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Now, did you know that the Mustang name was actually inspired by the P-51 fighter plane from World War II?